Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Moto G Pure. But if you're brand new to the crew, I truly appreciate you for coming through. And if you're already a part of the crew, salute. But we're going to just jump right into it. This is the Moto G Pure, the latest, you know, entry level budget device from Motorola. And it's going to have similar features to a phone that Motorola released last year called the Moto g play and it pretty much shares a lot of things in common with the moto g play too much in common right where you would think it's worth the upgrade but i'm going to tell you the differences the main differences at the end of the video so make sure you stay to the end of the video right but the first thing you're going to notice is that the moto g pure will have a 4000 milliamp hour battery and it promises two days battery use depending on what you do right with the device right depending on how you use it and with the moto g play they're going to promise three days right because it has that 5000 you know milliamp hour battery uh, so it's advertising three days on the play versus the pure so right that's going to be like the main thing to highlight when you're comparing the pure to the play and it's really hard to talk about the pure without talking about the play but i just kind of want to highlight and kind of talk about some key differences with both of these devices right so mainly the g play is going to be a better device in a lot of ways more than one so i'm going to tell you why the pure is better than the play at the end because that's probably the most advantage that it has over the play but when it comes to core quality, everything seems to work out perfectly fine. We do get mono speakers on both of these devices. So like I said, the battery will be bigger on the play. That's the biggest thing that you'll sacrifice when you get to the pure. But two days battery is still really excellent when you look at a budget device. So the second thing is that the cameras are near identical except for the fact that they have different, you know, configurations, right? They're going to be shaped completely different. You're going to get this kind of like um, newer type of looking camera on the Pure because they both share the 13 and the 2 megapixel, the 13 beam camera and the 2 megapixel depth center. And then the Play has the edge because it's going to have the 2.0 aperture versus the 2.2 that the Pure has. So... It has a smaller aperture, which is actually better when you compare it to the Pure. So just something to note is that the Pure will have, a, you know, it won't be as sh sh um, in low light and stuff like that. Low light situations, the Play might be better. And the G Play also touts on the front end of the camera system, the 5 megapixel 2.2 versus the 2.4 instead on the on the Pure so those that's another thing is that the aperture is going to be smaller which is going to have um it's going to give the phone camera more light to work with when in low situations of light low low lit situations and stuff like that so those are the pretty two main things to know when you look at the upgrading to the pure but uh, do me a favor if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for staying right to this part and we're gonna get into why i think the pure is better at the end of the video so i truly appreciate you for coming through hit the like button if you find this video helpful so far but i just want to highlight the cameras and the battery first and then let's just talk about the screens right from the design standpoint the pure and the play are very very similar with the displays they're nearly identical with the 6.5 inch display small notch and water propellant water propellant water uh, repellent protection type c charging and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on both of these things it's about a ten dollar difference which is not that big of a deal right but um it's a ten dollar difference and they both offer pretty much the same exact um screens the lcd 1600 by 720 hd plus with a minor difference that the play will have slightly smaller bezels than the pure so the play has an 86 percentage screen to body ratio whereas the pure has an 81 percentage screen to body ratio so i just kind of wanted to throw that out there but it looks absolutely gorgeous you will see a big chin on the bottom which is not noticeable unless you like 
you like are looking for stuff like that and just looking for diff different things to nitpick at right so in modern day you know everyday usage i was really having a good time with this thing this the screen isn't that lit so i just kind of want to throw that out there that it's not that that bright when it's in outdoor scenarios and stuff like that so you may want to take that into account is that you know if you can handle not having a 1080 display then you will make that sacrifice but what it's going to actually do is increase the battery life because 720 displays take up less energy and stuff like that so that's one th thing to keep in mind when you're taking a look at the pure right and then the the play will also offer the same amount of storage that the the pure and the play they both have three gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of internal storage as well and here's the main difference right is that the pure will offer the mediatek helio g25 chipset whereas the play is going to offer the qualcomm snapdragon 460 which are pretty much basically low-end you know budget entry-level chipsets right but the clear advantage is for the snapdragon because the snapdragon is tend to be more power efficient and you know it the cpu performance and uh, gpu performance is going to have an advantage because you know developers optimize their apps better for qualcomm chips instead of like the mediatek ones so that may be another thing but you know what i'm saying it didn't really play too much of a big deal with these things right but camera quality is going to be pretty good outdoor light you're not going to really be experiencing too much craziness going on eight times for the zoom which is pretty cool and you definitely get some really good details on the zoom you definitely get some good details on the shots right and with the processing chips like the helio g25 the graphics are going to be medium and low so i just want to let you guys know that it's not going to be too crazy when we're talking about gaming on here but you still can do that right you still can compete you still can you know get first blood and, thing, and things like that and it will be a little bit um you know what i'm saying it's not going to be as quick as other phones in the higher tier the frames will, will not as be will not be as quick and stuff like that but they, it will be able to pl run and play you know PUBG, call of duty mobile and asphalt 9 and stuff like that right it could even play Genshin Impact if you have it like on the low graphics and stuff like that. But I wouldn't recommend that type of a game. I would probably recommend like a more expensive phone, more luxurious phone or something like in the entry level mid-range department versus this one, which is going to be like the sub 200 price point under 200. Right. Like I said before, but the, the battery is going to be really efficient for gaming as well. The screen did get plenty bright. It wasn't something that I was complaining about whatsoever. But, you know, I was able to, you know, compete. I was able to, you know, definitely get some kills on this thing. So it wasn't like the worst chipset that I've ever experienced with that MediaTek Helio G25. So, so just keep in mind that the Pure will have a... You know it's not going to have the advantage when you compare it to the play and a lot of people are coming from the play from last year so they might want to know should they upgrade and i'm going to let you know towards the end of the video so make sure you guys stay to the end of the video video and i truly appreciate you for you know watching the whole video but other than that when it comes to the cameras the 13 megapixel for video it's definitely going to not have that image stabilization but it will be able to get detailed video shots in the daytime when you zoom in it might be a little bit fuzzy but it's still worth you know capturing stuff with it and then on the front end with the five megapixel you're going to notice that the same deal it's not going to be stabilized but it will have some really good pictures so if you have like a gimbal or something like that i would definitely recommend using that maybe a tripod just to keep the footage nice and still so it doesn't bounce around or anything of that nature but like i said this thing will have all the moto gestures it will have 
you know um a lot of cool features you could double click to get your cameras um chop to get your flashlight you have your ambient notifications right here for the moto um notifications which is one of my favorite in the world because you can pretty much see your notifications on here just by like looking at this this device when the notification comes in and you can kind of scroll through them without unlocking your phone which is going to also save you battery and so that's something that i really do like about the moto device it also does have the um swipe in the middle to get to your split screen and you also do have media controls when you activate that you can when the screen is locked you can switch songs so this thing has a, a ton of features that i really like using but the other thing about this device is that the pure this is the thing that i was going to let you guys know that was better about the pure is that you know the pure um basically the g play is a better smartphone in almost every, every category and um you know the battery lasts an extra day or something like that so it's 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 an experience that's like worth paying for, like extra for the um paying extra f over the pure but the one real advantage that the pure has over the play is that it, it ships with android 11 out of the box and it's promised to get updated to android 12 when you compare it to the g play which is still running android 10 and is planning to get 11 so it's like one step ahead when it comes to software updates and you will get this audio feature for not only bluetooth but out the loudspeaker so it does have that moto audio auto audio so you can tune the, the music or the videos to your preference right so i just really like that part about it i like the fact that both of these devices are under 200 dollars, so you're not killing your pockets or breaking the bank or you know upsetting a parent when you tell them what smartphone you want to get that's new because this one won't do that it's pretty much going to be optimized very well for battery life and also you can pretty much text message you know make phone calls social media multimedia things of, of that such that sort and everything like that so the fact that you know the g pure does have a slightly less um aperture the 2.0 on the back versus the 2.2 on the play and then the play does have that 2.2 on the front for the 5 megapixel aperture versus the 2.4 on the pure which is better for the, on the play but it's pretty much better in every single category they both share the same screens but you get better you know screen to body ratio on the play when you compare it to the pure and you know obviously the you know ram and rom configurations are the same but that snapdragon is going to be a little bit slightly better on the the play so i just you know i couldn't do this video without mentioning the play even though i never used the play before these are just some things to note but most people do appreciate when phones get software updates and because this one is also running android 11 straight out of the box a lot of people are going to be more inclined to get this one because it has a more recent software when you compare it to the you know the the, the older cousin or the older brother or whatever like that but you know what i'm saying the the play is definitely is still a good phone it's just not gonna get the 12 so i just kind of want you to be mindful of of that part right this one has a more modern camera design it's like that, that vertical setup which looks pretty cool it's like a more of a boxy rectangular design and oh, i didn't have any issues looking at the screen outdoors whatsoever but this is a pretty much solid device and the every every way the call quality was really good the reception was really good um you know it had some pretty good speeds on here the screen was pretty decent the battery was excellent but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and uh, i'll make sure i go down there right now to answer all your questions and um subscribe get notified and if you're new join the crew and um i'll get right back with you later crew peace man this phone is affordable